Hey y'all, this is my Hope is in Him, and this video is called A Nail in the Coffin, 1844. The Adventists teach that in 1844, Jesus moved from the holy place into the most holy place to enter the second phase of the Day of Atonement, which is connected with the cleansing of the sanctuary. They teach that the earthly sanctuary is an exact replica of the heavenly sanctuary and that Jesus actually passed through the curtain in 1844 to enter the most holy place. Is this an accurate teaching of the Day of Atonement? Did the priest first perform duties in the holy place with the blood of the goat before moving into the most holy place? What does the Bible teach? Please turn with me to Leviticus 16, starting at verse 13. And he shall put the incense upon the fire before the Lord, that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat that is upon the testimony, that he die not. And he shall take the blood of the bullock and sprinkle it with his finger upon the mercy seat eastward, and before the mercy seat shall he sprinkle of the blood with his fingers seven times. Then shall he kill the goat of the sin offering, that is for the people, and bring his blood within the veil, and do with that blood as he did with the blood of the bullock, and sprinkle it upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. The very first thing that the priest did with not just the blood of the bullock, which was a sin offering for himself, but with the blood of the goat for the sin offering was to take it into the most holy place. That was the very first thing and to sprinkle it upon the mercy seat eastward and before the mercy seat seven times. Now, my Adventist friends have said that the Bible is not for private interpretation that we must let the Bible speak for itself. So who is right? Is it the Adventists who teach that the high priest first took the blood of the goat into the holy place and performed works there as the first phase of the atonement? Or the Bible who says that the high priest went into the most holy place with the blood first and sprinkled it on the mercy seat? There was only one thing the priest did in the holy place on that day before entering the most holy place, and it was done before the first goat was killed and directly after the bullock was killed. And that was to fill an incense burner with the burning coals from the altar and carry it behind the inner curtain so that the smoke might rise up over the mercy seat. As soon as that was done, he took the blood of the bullock into the most holy place and sprinkled it on the mercy seat and before it. And once he did that, he went out and killed the goat, the sin offering for the people, and took the goat's blood into the most holy place directly. He didn't detour, he didn't do anything else, but took it directly in. If Adventists are correct, then the goat, which represented Jesus, didn't die until 1844, not until he finished performing the duty of lighting the altar of incense, as that was the only work the high priest did in the holy place before taking the blood into the most holy place. But if the Bible is correct, then Jesus, who died many, many centuries ago, has already entered the most holy place with his blood and offered it as an atonement for many. I think on this one, I'm going to stick with the Bible. What about you?